In physics, the no-deleting theorem of quantum information theory is a no-go theorem which states that, in general, given two copies of some arbitrary quantum state, it is impossible to delete one of the copies. It is a time-reversed dual to the no-cloning theorem, which states that arbitrary states cannot be copied. This theorem seems remarkable, because, in many senses, quantum states are fragile. The theorem asserts that, in a particular case, they are also robust. Physicist Aaron K. Patty, along with Samuel L. Brownstein, proved this theorem. The no deleting theorem, together with the no cloning theorem, underpin the interpretation of quantum mechanics in terms of category theory, and, in particular, as a dagger symmetric monoidal category. This formulation, known as categorical quantum mechanics, in turn allows a connection to be made from quantum mechanics to linear logic as the logic of quantum information theory in exact analogy to classical logic being founded on Cartesian closed categories. <laughs> Overview of quantum deletion Suppose that there are two copies of an unknown quantum state. A pertinent question in this context is to ask if it is possible, given two identical copies, to delete one of them using quantum mechanical operations? It turns out that one cannot. The no-deleting theorem is a consequence of linearity of quantum mechanics. Like the no cloning theorem, this has important implications in quantum computing, quantum information theory, and quantum mechanics in general. The process of quantum deleting takes two copies of an arbitrary, unknown quantum state at the input port and outputs a blank state along with the original. Mathematically, this can be described by u psi. Psi B A C equals Psi A zero B A C Display style U, Psi wrangle underscore a Psi wrangle underscore B A wrangle underscore C equals Psi wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore B A wrangle underscore C where U Display style U is the deleting operation which is not necessarily unitary but a linear operator Psi Display style psi wrangle underscore a is the unknown quantum state zero b display style zero wrangle underscore b is the blank state a c display style a wrangle underscore c is the initial state of the deleting machine and a c display style a wrangle underscore c is the final state of the machine. It may be noted that classical bits can be copied and deleted, as can qubits in orthogonal states. For example, if we have two identical qubits, o o display style o o wrangle and 11 display style 11 wrangle then we can transform to 00 display style 00 wrangle and 10 display style 10 wrangle in this case we have deleted the second copy however it follows from linearity of quantum theory that there is no u Display style u that can perform the deleting operation for any arbitrary state psi display style psi wrangle topic formal statement of the no deleting theorem let psi display style psi wrangle 
be an unknown quantum state in some Hilbert space and let other states have their usual meaning. Then there is no linear isometric transformation such that psi a psi b a c psi a 0 b a c Display style psi wrangle underscore a psi wrangle underscore b a wrangle underscore c right arrow psi wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore b a wrangle underscore c with the final state of the ancilla being independent of psi display style psi wrangle topic proof. The theorem holds for quantum states in a Hilbert space of any dimension. For simplicity, let us consider the deleting transformation for two identical qubits. If two qubits are in orthogonal states, then deletion requires that 0 a 0 b a c 0 0 b a 0 c display style 0 wrangle underscore a 0 wrangle underscore b a wrangle underscore c right arrow 0 wrangle underscore a 0 wrangle underscore b a underscore 0 wrangle underscore c 1 a 1 b a C one a zero B A one C Display style one wrangle underscore a one wrangle underscore b a wrangle underscore c right arrow one wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore b a underscore one wrangle underscore c let psi equals alpha zero plus beta one Display style psi wrangle equals alpha zero wrangle plus beta one wrangle be the state of an unknown qubit. If we have two copies of an unknown qubit, then by linearity of the deleting transformation we have psi a psi b a c equals alpha Two zero a zero b plus beta two one a one b plus alpha beta zero a one b plus one a zero B A C Display style, psi, wrangle underscore, a, psi, wrangle underscore, b, a, wrangle underscore, c equals alpha carrot two, zero, wrangle underscore, a, zero, wrangle underscore, b, plus, beta carrot two, one, wrangle underscore, a, one, wrangle underscore, b, plus, alpha, beta, zero, wrangle underscore, a, one, wrangle underscore, b, plus, one, wrangle underscore, a, zero, wrangle underscore, b, a, wrangle underscore, C alpha two zero a zero B A zero C plus beta two one a zero B A one 
C plus two alpha beta phi A B C Display style Q quad right arrow alpha carrot two zero wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore B A underscore zero wrangle underscore C plus beta carrot two one wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore B A underscore one wrangle underscore C plus SQRT two alpha beta phi wrangle underscore A B C in the above expression, the following transformation has been used 1 2 0 a 1 b plus 1 a 0 b a c phi a b C Display style one SQRT two zero Wrangle underscore a one Wrangle underscore B plus one Wrangle underscore a zero Wrangle underscore B A Wrangle underscore C right arrow Phi Wrangle underscore A B C However, if we are able to delete a copy, then, at the output port of the deleting machine, the combined state should be Psi Zero B A C equals alpha zero a zero B plus beta one a zero B A C Display style psi wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore b a wrangle underscore c equals alpha zero wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore b plus beta one wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore b a wrangle underscore c. In general, these states are not identical, and hence we can say that the machine fails to delete a copy. If we require that the final output states are same, then we will see that there is only one option. Phi equals 1 2 0 a 0 b a 1 c plus 1 a 0 B A zero C Display style Phi wrangle equals one SQRT two zero wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore B A underscore one wrangle underscore C plus one wrangle underscore a zero wrangle underscore B A underscore zero wrangle underscore C and C equals alpha a zero C plus beta a one C Display style a wrangle underscore C equals alpha a underscore zero wrangle underscore C plus beta a underscore one wrangle underscore C since final state phi display style phi wrangle at the ancilla is normalized for all values of alpha beta display style alpha beta it must be true that a 0 c display style a underscore 0 wrangle underscore c and a one c display style a underscore one wrangle underscore c are orthogonal. This means that the quantum information is simply in the final state of the ancilla. 
one can always obtain the unknown state from the final state of the ancilla using local operation on the ancilla Hilbert space. Thus, linearity of quantum theory does not allow an unknown quantum state to be deleted perfectly. Topic: <laughs> Consequence. If it were possible to delete an unknown quantum state, then using two pairs of EPR states, we could send signals faster than light. Thus, violation of the no-deleting theorem is inconsistent with the no-signaling condition. The no-cloning and the no-deleting theorems point to the conservation of quantum information. A stronger version of the no-cloning theorem and the no-deleting theorem provide permanence to quantum information. To create a copy one must import the information from some part of the universe and to delete a state one needs to export it to another part of the universe where it will continue to exist. See also No broadcast theorem No cloning theorem No communication theorem no hiding theorem Quantum cloning Quantum entanglement Quantum information Quantum teleportation Uncertainty principle <laughs>